Okay, this is a Trevor mug I got for 50 cents. It does have a cute um, Looney Tunes vibe on it. I don't think it was dated at all, but I thought it was cute. I do have a cousin-in-law named Trevor, and I thought the next time he comes out here and stays, he'll fit, that'll be cute. He'll have his own mug. It was just, that's uh, that's not a very popular name, and I just grabbed it for that cheap of a price just to have something fun. Um, I got this little bag of dinosaurs for 75 cents. I don't know why. Sometimes little toys like this sell well, um, depending on the brand and all, and I don't think these are marked. If they are, I can't see because I'm so blind, but they're just a cute little little bag of dinosaurs. Um, I will just lot those together and list those on eBay, most likely. Um, I got these two, what I thought were really cute Christmas snack trays. They actually had four, and they had, they had this tape going all the way across the plate and the mug. Um, keep taping them together. And what was odd about these two, the other two were different, but they had a $149 price on the bottom, and then on the tape they had a $3.99 price. So, of course, me being cheap, I grabbed the two that had the $149 sticker, and I took them up and I said, well, what's the price? So, of course, she only charged me $149, so $140, half of that, so $0.75 cents for both of them. Um, but they're very pretty. I don't remember them. They're not marked at all, but, um, I was going to list them. They've got the poinsettia decals and the gold on the rim and the cute little, I mean, it's, it's nice china, but, um, I unwrapped one of them and noticed on this one, I didn't even see this right here. Look at that. It's a very significant crack and chip. I mean, I can't list it that way for someone to use because they're not going to buy that and pay shipping for a big crack and chip. So I think I might, I don't know, just maybe do uh, something crafty with the broken one and just maybe use the two, the two plates. But yeah, I was a little bit bummed there, but like I said, I didn't spend much, so I'm not crying over it. This time at least. And then I got this guy. God, I forgot what this is called. I, I'm pretty sure this tag came from, um, it's not vintage. I think that's Target, but I don't know. I have look, tried to look it up and I can't really find, but this is very similar to, it was half of 349. What they call a, it's a pot of, a, a thing you cook Moroccan, a Moroccan dish in, but the one, Tigran or some some name I've already forgotten the name of what it was called but the ones that I've seen that it looks like are bigger that you actually could put on your stove they're like you know like much taller when I first grabbed it I thought okay so it, maybe it's a butter dish which is what I'm going to use it for um for little tabs of butter but I thought it was cute and grabbed it let's see I also got these two mugs I got two of these, and I really grabbed them because they're a beautiful um, uh, robin's egg blue color, and I have two decals that would be really pretty on here. But um, I paid one twenty nine half of so I paid one twenty nine for both of them. Um, but when I took the the um, tag off, Furry, Furio Home Thailand, I googled those and. There's a lot of mugs like this and dishes like this that do pretty well on eBay, but they're not in this Robin's Egg Blue color. So I was feeling like, well, maybe I will list them first because I feel like this color would be definitely be wanted. Um, so I'm going to list those two and maybe sell them. And if I don't sell them somewhere down the road, I will maybe put the decals on them that I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, I originally just wanted those for me. I couldn't resist this Aquanet. If you were a child, a female child of the 80s, you know what Aquanet is. And it was half full and it was 50 cents. <laughs> so I don't really use hairspray anymore, but I did recently just recut bangs into my hair. So I thought I was borrowing my niece's hairspray at her graduation. So I thought, you know what? Okay, 50 cents. I'll have this at home if I need it. But yeah, who remembers the big hair 80s? I definitely do. I was definitely part of that. I did find another, um, I have quite a collection now of the Riesling 
cat wine bottles. Now this I overpaid for. It was $4, uh, but it was marked $7.99. Um, it's a cat wine bottle by, I think it's, I think it's pronounced Riesling, R-E-I-S-L-I-N-G, but you, they make these wine bottles in quite a few different shades and colors. I have thrifted an orange and black one. I've thrifted a red one. Um, I think I have another color besides those, and now I found this pretty pink one. Um, it does have a couple little scratches, but I just, I got them for me. I think they're adorable, um, and I kind of pull them out with whatever holiday um, they match. But for $4, I definitely grabbed that because you, you don't find them very much, and they actually do sell pretty well on eBay, but I think there's kind of a good bit on eBay, so um, I'm not... I'm not selling that one. I found this really cute. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice this big crack right here until just now. Wow. Look at the big crack on the thing. But it's okay because I did not get this to resell. It's a little... Let me take that off so I don't drop it. Um, pitcher or little teapot or it's a creamer uh, maybe it's a creamer but it's made in japan i think that's all it said on the bottom it's just hard to do with one hand and it was two dollars but it matches this cute little it's like a tree stump with some flowers growing around it i did know that there was a little um damage on the lid which they've put some stain over which is what i'll probably do with that on the on here but man i caught myself looking at that i can't believe unless i have done this since i got home and you know what? I think I have done that since I got home. Now that I think about it, I did knock something over last night in this area, general area of the table. So I'm hoping that I might can find that chip because when I washed it, that was not chipped. Wow, that is totally something I would do. I'm just looking here for the chip. Hopefully I can find it and glue it back on. But anyway, it's really cute. It matches this little teddy bear uh, honey pot that I've got and another little thing that's very similar. Maybe I'll throw in a picture of the three of them together. Um, but I just got it for display because it was, it was, I really liked it. I got these four um, pieces of Mexican pottery. They were $1 a piece. So 50 cents for each, for the saucer, 50 cents for the cup. They're in Mexico. And this is the... I think it's kind of like the Tanala pottery. I guess it is like Tanala pottery, but the um, it's made to hang if you wanted to hang it. Look at that. It's it's rough. It's not glazed, and like the flowers and the butterfly. See, see, that's actually a well. That might be a butterfly. That might be a flower. But anyway, that is glazed. But the, this this part is rough, and it's kind of weird. Like I don't know that this, this would be very practical to use. There is a glaze on the inside, but it's. I feel like it should be thicker. But I got these because I do have a good bit of Tanala pottery that my mother-in-law gave me. And she, she has more that she's giving me the next time I'm there. Um, it doesn't match exactly, but um, it's very similar. Although I might try to list these. I just don't know that somebody's going to want want that. And I wouldn't want them to be just to get it and feel like, oh, I can't drink out of that. They just have a weird feeling. But I thought they were very pretty. Um... Tanala pottery is always worth picking up. And we'll see what I do with that. Let's see. Let's look at this little guy that keeps staring at me. This is probably the best find of the day. This little bobblehead felted bunny with his pretty little eyes. Look at his little head. And it's funny. When I first saw him on the shelf, I thought the bobblehead was broke. Um, but it reminded me of my grandmother. She had two bobblehead dogs on her mantle when I was growing up and they were so cute. So I paid um 150 I don't think it was marked but I don't want to pull that off right now. But when I saw it on the shelf, it's in really good shape. There's a little mark here but I don't really think you see that um too much. There's a little mark here. But considering it's pretty old um it looks in great shape. But when I found it it was sitting like this and I just thought the head doesn't work right. But when then I get it home and I realize you have a little hook here and a little a little latch there. You just have to make sure, and then it's got the screw weight. You just make sure you hook it, and then it bobbles really well. But these guys sell for about $25 on eBay um, consistently, so that's where that's going. 
Um, he's cute and all, but it's just really not my taste. I like more like tchotchke bunnies and stuff, but look at him. <laughs> he's going to go on eBay and pay for a lot of this haul here, hopefully. Um, another thing I found that I was looking for was a Made in Hong Kong silver plated earring tree. I uh, was 150. It's a cat. You see this one a lot on eBay. You see a, you see this exact cat and a butterfly a lot. So now I'm looking for the butterfly, but I just wanted this for me. I might list it eventually one day. I don't know, but um for what did I say? 150. I grabbed that. I'm just I've got a few things that I want to clean up that are tarnished that I, and I'll clean him up. But um I wanted that for myself. And I guess it was a theme that day cuz I got Another cat earring tree. This one is more modern. It was $2. Um, and it's just kind of a black metal. And you hang your earrings here. Um, but I love Crazy for Retro. And I love all the ones she has. This this is way more modern. It's not, I don't believe it's vintage at all. But it kind of reminds me. I might spray paint this one a color like she does. But I don't know. We'll see. Or I might even try to list that one. But I definitely, for now, am keeping this one. Um, let's see what else I bought for resale. I bought the Corningware um, holder. It was one dollar, so I'm not going to leave it for one dollar. These do sell pretty well. That's the the metal stand that you, you know you you put your Corningware dish in. Um, let's see. This is something I bought, and it is all busted up. But I knew it was all busted up. Um, it was half of 249 and it is a beautiful creamer. Look at this gorgeous pattern and look at this gorgeous style. It reminds me so much of Taylor Smith Taylor and some of my collection that I've got in that, but it's not. It is um, Coronet by Salem. And I have Googled this one and I can't find this pattern anywhere, but it is very crazed. It, it did its handle his has been put back on. It has been a crack here. It's pretty cracked, but someone put it back together and did a very good job. And I really just wanted it to make for a flower vase. When you're displaying it, maybe like that, you won't really see that big crack, but it's so pretty, but I'm on the hunt for some that aren't cracked. Um, I'm going to be looking for this. Um, and I'll eventually show you my Taylor Smith Taylor. I have showed a lot of it in videos already, but I'll show you what I mean. It's very similar to that, the style. So it's very 60s, very mid-century. But I, I love that. One thing I kind of regret buying, I should have looked this up before I bought it, but um, I saw it and I thought, oh, that's so cute. Everybody loves the Sears and Roebuck catalog. It's a Sears and Roebuck catalog picture, like the plastic kind of like Tupperware pictures. And it has a few little ads on the side, but there is a lot of missing of the ink or whatever it is. But um, these are very saturated on eBay. Don't buy, I mean, don't buy it unless you want it for yourself. And be real careful when you're washing it because you can wash it the outside with a wash rat or with a, with a cloth and you can take off some of this. I accidentally took a little bit off um, when I, before I realized it, but I'm trying to think, what did I pay for this? But I love the picture. I might just clean it again and use it for myself. It was a uh, pay 50 cents, so that's not a bad lesson. But I, but I would not buy it unless you just want it for yourself because there's just way too many um, for sale. I got these at the art store the, of the of the um, the part one haul. I just forgot to show them, but these are just a couple. They're plant stakes. When you plant your seeds or your tiny plants, you stick them in the ground and you write on the front what it is. And I'm pretty sure they're reusable. That looks it's just a very thin. Looks like copper, but you could probably use a dry erase marker right on it and then reuse it. But it's so funny. They were 49 cents a piece. Um, and I grabbed, I think I grabbed two, I, I grabbed five. So I was thinking, okay, I'll spend two fifty. So I grabbed five. And when I get up to the register, the girl is ringing them up and she picks them up and she goes, I'm just going to charge you three ninety nine for these. And I was like, um, no, I don't think so. It's only two fifty, and then it's half price. So you'll, so I should only get charged one twenty five. 
And she's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, you're right, yeah. So if they ever try to do that to you, be paying, pay attention. Because she was going to charge me four bucks when the price should have only been one twenty-five. But she was young. She probably just miscalculated. Um, let's see. I did buy a game for myself, Ducking High. This was one fifty. It's just a card game that you play. It's almost like a trivia, but it's not really a trivia. It just looks fun. Um, you ask each other some of these questions, and I think it's just like a fun game to get conversation starting. What topping that usually isn't found on pizza would be the best, would be, would taste the best. You can only eat at one fast food chain for the rest of your life. Which one? Using a movie title to describe your sex life. I just thought that would be fun to play um, with a group. So I grabbed that. I, I never ever buy silverware, but I did buy for one dollar some silverware. Just because I thought it was pretty. Like I said, let me see if I can open this. Excuse me, putting the camera down there for a minute. I'm using my camera camera, so it's a little harder to manipulate. Um, but it was three spoons and three forks. And I just thought the spoons were really pretty. Because they had just some pretty... You're not going to see it here, probably. Pretty decorations on the back. I mean, on the front. Carlton silver plate. Let's see, this one's a little different. This is, I don't know, community plate? I don't know. I just thought they were cool, and I'm going to clean them up and maybe do something with them. This is Rogers, which I figured that's a popular. And those are actually nice heavy forks. It's a popular brand. I did buy this weird bag. Um, and it was $150. But I bought it for this cute little Easter bunny. It is a... Easter Terry Tots by Easter Unlimited. It's like a terry cloth Easter bunny with a little hanging thing. I just thought it was really cute. It was obvious it was very vintage and it looks in great, it's very bright and colorful like it never got, you know, you played with or used or whatever. But um, made in Hong Kong, I was looking at the tag and I, I don't know, what does non-inflammable material mean? I would think if it's inflammable, that means it is not flammable, but non, not flammable. I don't know. It was so crazy how that was written. But yeah, I thought these were really cute. I didn't see, and I thought, oh, that'll sell on eBay. I didn't see any. I've actually never heard of them, but um, he's, he's cute to put in, a, in an Easter display. But he came with this crazy looking little bear. Um, and I picked up the bear and I felt this funny thing in it. And then I realized, oh, it does something. So this is kind of creepy. Okay, so that is an absolute no, no, no. That is going straight back to the thrift store. Um, I didn't see any name or, you know, there probably was a tag and it got ripped off. But that is creepy to me. So that is definitely going back to the thrift store. Ooh. Um, I got two other bags, um, $150 for this one and $150 for this one, so $3, and I got two bags of horses. I'm going to sit the camera down again. I know a couple of these are briar horses, um, and a couple of them aren't in the best of shape, but I thought they were pretty, and I, what I, my plan was just to, just to list just to list the briar horses all in one lot but um and i apologize again for laying the camera down but i'm gonna open this one i meant to open it before i got started okay i just thought the black one was really pretty um yeah he's really pretty and i didn't see when i was looking through the bag if you know he is okay so that in there in the inside of the leg is the, is the briar horse right there symbol. So that's a pretty. No, watch him not stand very well. No, he stands okay. So he'll he'll get listed with this one, which she's in she's in pretty good shape, and she also has the symbol here. It's either on the inside leg or on the belly. Um, the briar horse mark. 
So that's two, and I think this one, okay, this one may not be, because I'm not, nope, it is. Gosh, it's hard to see those. Um, so that's three. The three big ones are briar horses. I thought they were. They do fairly well, but I love horses too. This little Clydesdale is, um, oh, it's just, it says made in China, but I can't really read the name. Something S-C-H something, I don't know. And this one is another little tiny one. Brumby. So I'll Google those two. I might just do the briars together and then the, the rest in a lot. But I grabbed this one really because it had this really cute little Lego horse. And I know sometimes you can find tiny little Lego pieces that are usually people or um, characters that sell for a ton. So I'm gonna Google this little Lego horse. I'm not sure what he might have went to. But he might be, he might be a money maker. We'll see. He, she. And the rest of these were just little, probably not very expensive horses. I will probably just, um, oh, there's a cute little felted one. Oh, he's cute. I'll probably just, you know, do all this lot together. There's some tiny ones. And, um, that's, an, that looks like another Lego horse, I think. That looks like a Lego horse. So that was really cool. I was very excited about the Lego horses. Sometimes the little pony, my little pony, I think that's what that is, do well. But I had one for sale one time forever and ever. It must not have been special. And this one kind of matches Shire. It's not, I can't, no, I can't read that. Anyway, I just grabbed them because, like I said, mainly I wanted the briar horses. And then the two little Legos were just bonuses. I haven't even looked those up yet. I kind of forgot about them until just now. Um, so that's cool. Creepy bear set aside. I got this trivet actually for me. Although I think I could probably sell it. It's an expandable trivet. It was only $150. Um, let's see. But it, I want to say it came from... I don't know. It was $10 from somewhere originally. So it's not a big, it's not a big thing. I just kind of wanted it for my um, casseroles. We, we eat here a lot, like a one-dish one meals, uh, quite a bit. All right, sit the camera down again. Um, but yeah, it's just a cool expandable trivet. So it can fit any of your casseroles, just whatever size you have. But for a dollar, or is that what I said I paid? Um, I thought for sure I'm going to grab that. Um, I think that's most of the stuff on the table. Let me show you this this I bought this and I'm kind of wondering why but it's very nice it was four dollars it is a very nice I thought it was handmade and then at one point I thought it was Vera Bradley but it's not but it's a handmade or it's not handmade it, it has a tag that says made in China or something but it was very nice very clean it's a garment bag very pretty let's see the back side it looks like Vera Bradley ish um but for travel, you just hang your clothes and then, and then it folds and it has the straps to tie and the straps to carry. I just thought that would be cool for my camping trips or my plane trips or whatever. Just, it was cool. It's a very pretty piece and it actually looks kind of like um, it's never really been used. So the last thing I got was this lamp. But I think, yeah, I think she'll be really cute. I'm excited to see what I can do with her. Um, and if I can't make her a lamp, then I will. I, I mean, I think I can, though. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think that's most of the haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will update you on a lot of these things when I do them. I do plan on doing a video of all the projects that I said I was going to do that I haven't done. I have kind of started on that, so I, I am going to do my projects. Um, but hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching and happy June.